All right, now we're gonna remove the flywheel. First, we'll take off the pulley. Penetrating oil. See if the DeWalt can take it. If not, we'll get the bigger impact out. Then you're going to take the bolts off of the pulley and we'll be using those for our flywheel puller. We'll set the pulley aside. All right, next we're going to take this nut out, 22 millimeter. The DeWalt fails to get it done. Turn to the big Mac Daddy. Chicago Electric. Scoot back, ladies and gentlemen. Shaboomy. I'm using this Kimpex flywheel puller part 000220. Alright, so to put this flywheel puller on, obviously put your big bolt in the middle hole. And then you gotta look in here and figure out which ones. So one, two, three, which ones have the threads? Because these two holes look the same, but they don't actually have any threads on the other side. And then you just want to finger tighten these in about an inch. You don't want to go too far back here because you'll possibly mess up your, your windings on the stator. So, Just a little tip with the Kimpex flywheel puller. I took the little nut that was down here, put that on first. And then put my washer on so that way I have a double size head on it. Just a little bit easier to get your fingers on and maneuver and then it actually gives you a nice spacer so that you're not putting your nut too far into your flywheel and possibly damaging it. So if you have your nut in between the head of the bolt and the washer, it'll keep them from going in too deep. Alright, this is 19 millimeter. There you go. And just for reference, that's how far the flywheel puller bolts, the little silver bolts were sticking through. So with the uh, extra nut on there and the washer. So just for reference, not far enough to impact these windings. So to take the stator out, we're going to take these three brass screws off. If they're real stuck, it can help to take a hammer using the dead blow. Gives the end of your screwdriver a pop. You can do that on each one. Give it a couple pops if they're still stuck, and that will help loosen them up. So go ahead and run those three screws all the way out. And I'll show you what to do next. 
There's actually more screws, so one, two, and then there's, yeah, three down here, so one, two, three, take those out. Same technique, the hammer. The screwdriver wasn't getting it done, it was just uh, starting to mess up the Phillips because it's brass so it's soft so got a bigger, bigger bit. More meat in the middle. We're gonna hope this works. Really push on it hard. Mm. Nope, was eating it up. Turning a Phillips into a square bit. Got another one out. Only got one left and it's the bad one. It's all chewed up. I had to result to this extractor socket made for biting on to round it off. Hardware. There we go. Nice. We'll definitely be buying a new one of those. I'm glad it came out of there. All right, so that being done. So yeah, I just tapped it from the back there like you saw with a flathead screwdriver. Okay, so now the stator is loose, but the wires are attached over here. So I'm going to bring the camera around to this side so you can see where the wires exit the engine block. And I'll show you how to get the wires out of there. I'm going to go ahead and flip the engine up on its side a bit. Put a block underneath it. I'm not going to go all the way up, just some, so you can see what I'm doing there. should be able to see that. So here's the wires that your stator is attached to. We're going to need to get this rubber grommet out. Take a flathead screwdriver. Then just pry from the top until you get underneath the bottom part. As you can see, there's two flanges there, top flange and bottom flange. Get that bottom flange all the way out, and then we'll rotate it and push it through. Your stator is actually going to come out the front where the flywheel was. So like I said, once it's all the way up and out, then you're just going to angle it forward and push it through while pulling this out. Here it all comes. I'm gonna feed the wires through.
Hey, dirty baby. There we go.